Hello, this is Lucas, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the grid pane in JavaFX. So, to start off, we're going to have to replace this anchor pane with a grid pane, and then the same thing here. Right, now I have this uh, method here to load, which just calls this method here, and this is where we're going to be writing all our code. I, I don't want to add it in the start method because then it'll just be too confusing. So, I'll just add it in here. So firstly, we need to create some elements that we're going to add into our uh, grid pane. So let's add five. So let's do a label and let's just do a uh, first name. Equal that to a new label. And then we'll just do a uh, first name. Then we'll just create another one. We'll just do last name is equal to a new label. And we'll just do last name. All right, so we have two labels. Then we can just create a, I guess we can do a text field. And I'll just name this TF1, new, uh, equal that to new uh, text field. We don't have to actually add Anton inside of the brackets here because it's a text field. And then we go text field, uh, we'll do TF2 is equal to a new text field. And then finally, we will add a button called uh, just button. And you can equal that to a new uh, button and we'll give it a value of uh, submit. All right, so these are five elements that I want to add to our, uh, to our grid pane. So the way a grid pane works is it works just like a 2D array. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, a 2D array. So there's rows and there's columns. So let's say we do a root. So root is our grid pen. Then we can do add uh, row. Okay. Now when we do add row, this is the row that we are targeting. And these are the values that we are going to be adding uh, to that row. So for example, let's say we want to add in, in the very first row, uh, this label. So first name. And let's say we also want to add in TF1, All right? Now let's say on the second row we want to add. Uh, let's do oops, let's do root dot add row. So on the second row, which is one, let's say we, we want to add in uh, our last name, and we also want to add in TF2. And let's say on the very last row, so we'll do a uh, root dot add row. We will target the very last row, which is, which is two, and we'll just add a button in here. Now, if we run this, you can see we get a nice little uh, grid. So the way it works again, uh, we are adding the first name and the text field one to the very first row. So you can see that that's the label and then that's the text field. And on the second row, so below that, we are adding uh, the last name label and the second text field. So then this is second text field. And then on the very last row, we were just adding the button. Now we can also do a column. So instead of row, we can do a column. Let's replace these with column. And then it just, this works the exact same way. This is gonna be the very first column. We're gonna add these. This is the second column, we're adding these. And then this is the third column, we're gonna be adding the button. So if you run this, just like that, we have this is the first column, the first name, and this label, which is this one here. And this one is the second column, so last name and this text field. And then the button is added on the very last column. So that's about it for this video. I hope this video helped. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.